Hello again, and today I'll be showing you how to grow shiitake mushrooms in buckets. To begin this project, you will need many things, which include a bucket of any kind, but preferably a food grade bucket, with holes drilled in the side and the bottom like this. A large basin in which to hold the boiling water, which will pasteurize the bucket, a big pot to boil the water, 15 pounds of hardwood fuel pellets, one bag of sawdust shiitake spawn, preferably don't use grain spawn, two and a half gallons of water to mix the fuel pellets, some wax, and a chip brush or some other wax applicator. Personally, I would recommend getting some of your supplies from this great company known as North Spore. Particularly grabbing one of their wax bags, and if you want, you can grab their wax daubers, which are both pretty inexpensive. Most, most importantly, their shiitake spawn is really good, so you might as well just grab your spawn there. The first thing you want to do is to start boiling some water. While I use the burner on my barbecue, you could also do it over an open fire, or something else. After the water starts to boil, you want to pour it into a large tub or basin. If your basin is not tall enough to contain the entire bucket, then you will have to flip over your bucket once in a while to pasteurize both ends. While you are waiting for your bucket to pasteurize, it is a good idea to start mixing your fuel pellets in water. If you try to mix too much in one go, be aware that the pellets do expand when soaked, so don't put too much into your mixing container while you mix. And start melting some of your wax in your pot for the next step. The inoculation process is quite messy, so be sure to work on a sacrificial piece of plywood or cardboard. After your bucket has sat in the water for around 10 minutes, take it out and bring it to your inoculating area. The first thing you want to put into the bucket is a one inch layer of pre-soaked fuel pellets. Secondly, after the layer of fuel pellets, you want to put a thin layer of shiitake spawn on top of it. Repeat the first step and put a layer of pellets on top of the shiitake spawn. Gradually, as you fill up the bucket in each successive layer of shiitake spawn, you want to slightly increase the amount of spawn you put in each layer, so that as you go up, 
Each layer of the bucket ascending has more spawn in it than the last. The reason you want to do this is because other foreign fungi that may want to take over your bucket tend to concentrate towards the top of the bucket. And the increased spawn will quickly colonize those uppermost portions, leaving no room for the other foreign fungi to grow. Once you reach the first row of holes, you can stop and begin the next step. Secure the lid back on the bucket and turn it onto its side. Bring your pot of wax over to your bucket and start to wax over all the holes. Now if you encounter that a hole is too deep for the wax to settle and harden over, you can fill the hole with an unused fuel pellet and then wax over it. After you have waxed all the holes on the bucket, you now have to find a place for the shiitake bucket to sit and colonize. Find a place that is shaded and preferably close to a body of water, like a stream or a pond. And technically, the best colonizing temperature is around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. First success.